Hello, boys and girls. It's time to talk numbers. So let's learn a new number of the day. To find out our number of the day, we can count together from one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19. Our number of the day is 19. And look, our grid is almost full. We have learned so many numbers. Here's what the number 19 looks like. It's a one and a nine. When we make the one, we start at the top and we go straight down. When we make the nine, we start at the top, we make a circle around and then back straight down. Okay, let's take a look at 19 counters so we can understand how many is 19. In order to show you the 19 counters, we're going to use two tens frames. One wouldn't be enough. We need two to show 19 counters. So here's my first tens frame and my second tens frame. Now we can add in the counters. Let's start counting together. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one full tens frame and let's keep counting. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And there I have 19 counters. I use one full tens frame and another tens frame that's not quite full. Let's see what that looks like. So here's my one full tens frame and another that's not quite full. Hmm. I'm going to use these two tens frames or these two parts to show you a number sentence. How many counters are in my first tens frame? If it's full, we don't even need to count. We know that there are 10 counters in the first tens, in the full tens frame. Now I'm going to add that to the number of counters in my second tens frame, in my second 10 frame. Take a look at it because you might not need to count in order to figure out how many there are. If it was full, there would be 10, but it's only missing one. So what number is that? It's nine. There are nine counters in my second tens frame. And when I put all those counters together, what number do I get? This group plus this group. Well, if you're not sure, we can count. So I'm going to start with this counter because I know that there's 10 in my first tens frame and I'm going to count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have 19 counters all together. Let's read that number sentence. 10 plus nine equals 19. Great. Okay, now here I have my 19 counters and my number sentence that we just made. We're going to put these numbers into a number bond. And the number bond has a big circle at the top for the whole number and two smaller circles at the bottom for the parts. So I can add these numbers into my number bond. Hmm, what number goes at the top? What's the big number or the whole number here? The 10, the nine, or the 19? 19, yes, there's my 19. The other two numbers, the 10 and the nine, are my smaller numbers or my two parts that make up 19 because 10, and nine make 19. Great, okay, so now we're going to practice what we've learned. I need you to take out a piece of paper or a notebook, 
a pencil or a marker or a crayon and I'm going to take out my paper, here it is, and we are going to practice what we have learned. So the first thing, the first thing I want you to do is write the number of the day. And what is the number of the day? It is 19, one, nine. When we make that nine, it's a start at the top and it's a circle around. When we get back to the top, we go straight down. Okay, good. Let's make 19 counters. But before I do that, I want to make sure my counters are nice and neat. So I can make a tens frame to make sure that I have beautiful rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows, close it up, draw a line down the center, and there's my tens frame. Okay, now I'm going to put 19 counters. I'm actually going to fill up this whole tens frame and then I'm going to have more counters at the bottom. And that's fine, as long as I keep them in nice straight rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not done yet. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now I have 19 counters. And while I was making those 19 counters, I actually made two groups or two parts. Here's my first part. It's the full tens frame. And here's my second part. It's the part of the tense frame. It's, it's a tense frame that's not full. This group is full, so I know it has 10. This group is not full. We can count to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to take these two numbers, this number and this number, and add them together to make a number sentence. So 10 plus nine is equal to how many counters all together? If you said 19, you are correct. One thing left to do is to make a number bond. I need a big circle at the top, and I need two little circles at the bottom. Okay, what is my whole number, my big number? Our number of the day, 19. It's the last part of my number sentence. And what are the two parts, the two small numbers that we found? The 10? and the nine. And I can add them right into my number bond at the bottom there. Here we go. So 19 is equal to 10 and nine. You have just learned all about another number. Great job, boys and girls. See you soon.